After our first semifinal, we have Bowling Green head coach Chris Bergeron and senior forward Dan DeSalvo. We'll open up with a couple comments from Coach Bergeron and then turn it over for questions. Coach? Uh, congratulations to Michigan Tech. Uh, wish them best of luck tomorrow in the final. That's it. Questions? Go for it. Coach, you said earlier this week that you've been open and honest with your team in terms of their NCAA standing over the past couple of months. What did you tell them after this game? I, I, I told them I really don't know. Um, as I've been doing the last five weeks, I went right to the right to the phone and the and the the immediate updated uh, rankings, and it looks like it doesn't look as positive. Um, as we would have wanted, but we've put ourselves in that predicament. But I really, I just thought it was, it was a little too raw to get right into that right away. Um, uh, but I also didn't want to close out the season either and say thank you to the seniors and bye. Um, you know, there's obviously hockey to be played, and we've left it in other people's hands, so there's nothing we can do about that except sit and wait. Um, and that's what, uh, that's what we'll talk about over the next, you know, 24 or 36 hours as it plays itself out. <coughs> Coach, your team seemed to dominate the uh, latter half of the second period, and especially early in the third when you tied it. Uh, how frustrating was Jamie Phillips for you guys? Yeah, I think he was, uh, I mean, I, I don't know if the word's frustrating. He was Jamie Phillips. I mean, that's why he is what he is, and his record is what it is. And, um, you know, I, I just, the, the frustrating part is, is we, we stress execution. We had a game plan, and we just weren't able to, we weren't able to get to that plan. And, I mean, we, we wanted to be a threat from the offensive blue line. And Michigan State scored three goals from the offensive, or Michigan Tech, excuse me, scored three goals from the offensive blue line with tips and with traffic. We wanted to be that, and we were we were definitely on the on the bad side of that. Um, you know, when we tied it at two two, we, I mean, actually, I told the guys the feeling going into the third period was we, we were going to win this game. Um, we tied it at two two, and and then <laughs> it was a really good feeling, and you fall asleep for a second on the offensive blue line, it's a breakaway, and. Uh, as Michigan Tech has done all year to a bunch of different opponents, they make you pay, and um, they made us pay. Coach, uh, you had two one goal games against this team back in January. What was different about this game as opposed to those games back in January? They scored more. Um, I, I thought it was a. Uh, I thought both games in January. Um, they had the better of the play. I really, I really, I mean that. I mean, we had leads both nights, but it was almost like really quick goals. We scored two quick and then three quick on Saturday and were able to hold on. I thought it was more of a evenly played game. My, my personal opinion it was back and forth. Um, but ultimately, uh, they scored, and I, felt, I, th I thought we were opportunistic in, in, uh, in Houghton, and th we weren't opportunistic tonight. We had, we had chances and didn't score. Thoughts on the situation in terms of the NCAs? Uh, like Coach said, uh, it's out of our control now. Uh, going into the game, you know, I told the guys, let's put fate in our hands. You know, let's let's do it ourselves. Let's not have to rely on other people uh, to help put us in the tournament. Uh, so that was a focus going in the game. But uh, like you said, it's out of our control now. Dan, you guys worked so hard to tie the game, and then Tech gets that breakaway. Was that? Emotionally, or, you know, kind of a back-breaking play? Yeah, you know, you scored a tight game. Uh, you think momentum's going your way. Guys are excited on the bench, you know, good morale. And then the next shift, they come down and score. Um, obviously, you try not to let that get to you, but uh, I'm, I'm sure it did to some guys. And um, we kind of let it show that. I mean, there were some spurts where we were good and we looked like we were coming back. Uh, but, you know, they got a fourth one. And then the empty not fifth goal put us away. Anything else for Coach or Dan? Player, what do you guys do now between now and Sunday? Sit and wait. I mean, obviously, watch some hockey, some college hockey, and uh, I guess just wait to see what happens.